Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today I want to present about Math 238 Foundation of Applied Mathematics Integration Technique Class AS20 underscore 7 Group 2. This slide prepared by me, Muhammad Shakir Zufayadi bin Muhammad Saufi, student ID 20211230557. And my group members, Muhammad Firdaus bin Abdul Halim Fairuz and Siti Nur Aisyah bin T.R. Aruhaza. Acknowledgement, we are really grateful because we managed to complete this video presentation within the time given by our lecture, Madam Azraya. This assignment is impossible to be done without the amazing cooperation and effort of our group members, Siti Nur, which is Siti Nur Aisha, Pidaus and me. We also sincerely thank you our lecture of Math 238, Madam Eza, for the guidelines and willingness to help us in what we are lacking when completing this assignment and surely for teaching us this course. Last but not least, we would like to express our gratitude to our family members who keep on encouraging us all this time. This diagram show about integration table. The integration the three different techniques of integration include integration by partial fraction, integration by trigonometric substitution, and integration by part. So this is question one. Let's see about question one. Question one is integration by partial fraction. So question one is evaluate x power of four plus one divided by x x power of x squared plus one dx. So the solution is plus one divided by x x squared plus one dx. So expand to x to s power of 4 plus 1 uh, divided by x squared s x squared plus 1 equal to x power of 4 divided by x x squared plus 1 plus 1 divided by x x squared plus 1 divided by x x squared plus 1 dx so this is continue this. So this is continue answer the question one. So equal to s power of four s x squared plus one ds equal to s squared divided by two minus one per two ln x squared one and equal to one divided by x x squared plus 1 ds equal to ln s minus 1 per 2 ln x squared plus 1 okay. and simplify x squared plus divided by 2 minus 1 per 2 ln x squared plus 1 plus ln x minus 1 per 2 ln x squared plus 1 so next x squared divided by 2 minus 1 per 2 ln x squared plus 1 plus ln x minus 1 per 2 ln x2 plus 1 x per 2 x squared divided by 2 minus ln x squared plus 1 plus ln x and x squared divided by 2 minus ln x squared plus 1 plus ln x and the true answer is x squared divided by 2 minus ln x squared plus 1 plus ln x plus c I think that's all for me I pass to next presenter Assalamualaikum I am Muhammad Firdaus bin Abdul Alim Pairus I will explain question 2 which is integration by trigonometric substitution. 
equation is solve integral square root x square minus 25 over x cube dx. Okay, first we start the solution with the substitution, which is let x equal to 5 second theta. Next, we differentiate the equation, and the equation will become dx equal to 5 set theta times theta d theta. After that, I would like to complete the triangle using this equation so that it will be easier for me to complete the calculation. So, from the equation x equal to 5 set theta, we get that set theta is equal to x over 5, and we know the identity of set theta is 1 over cos theta. Then we can conclude that cos theta equal to 5 over x. Then we place the value of hypotenuse and the adjacent of the triangle. After that, we need to find the opposite value of the angle, which is I get square root of x square minus 25 as in the picture. Uh, the, from the formula, we can get square root u square minus a square equal to a times theta and we get we let 25 equal to 5 next I continue with the second part which is we need to find the identity of the expression so first we pull out the expression of square root x square minus 35 then we need to substitute the variable that had been declared before after we insert the variable we should get that the expression will become an identity just like this expression we get that 5 is in bracket set theta minus 1 equal to 5 times theta so the square root of x square minus 35 is 5 times theta so now we have reached the final part of the calculation starting from the substitution of the equation to the variable that has been declared the differentiation and identity so we substitute x uh, set x square minus 25 with 5 times theta x cube with set 5 set theta cubic cube and lastly dx with 5 set theta tan theta d theta after that, we can cancel out the set theta. Next, the equation will be the integration of 5 times square over 5 set theta square. Then, we expand the, the denominator and become 35 set square followed by integrate, integrate the expression. The integration of set square will be tan theta. Lastly, we insert the value of the tan from the triangle that we had completed. we will got the function back. Let's see the example for this topic. The equation asks to evaluate integral e to the power of negative 3 cos x ds. If both of the function is repeatable and repeatable function, we need to use the tab tabular integration method. So, by referring to the rule, from the equation u is cos x, cos x we got negative sin x and differentiate again until we got the original function which is negative cos x next dv is equal to e to the power of negative 3 or negative 3 x over negative 3 
integer e to the power of negative 3x over negative 3, we got negative 1 over 3ex to the power of negative 3s. Then we insert all the information we got into the formula. So by applying the formula, we got integral e to the power of negative 3x cos x dx equal to e to the power of negative 3x over 3 cos x minus 1 over 3 e to the power, e to the power of negative 3x sin x plus integral 1 over 3 e to the power of 3 negative 3x cos x dx so um, we move the 1 of the integral on the right hand side to the left hand side so we got 1 over 3 integral e to the power of negative 3x cos x dx plus with uh, the equation which is integral e to the power of negative 3x cos x dx equal to the um, e to the power of negative 3x over negative 3 cos x minus with 1 over 3 e to the power of negative 3x sin x and then we simplify the left hand side we got 2 power of not, not 2 power of 2 over 3 uh, integral e to the power of negative 3x cos x dx equal to e to the power of negative 3x over negative 3 cos x plus with 1 over 3 e to the power of negative 3x sin x uh, and then we move the true we move the 2 over 3 to the right hand side multiplied with 1 over 3 uh, e to the power of negative 3x cos x plus with sin x sin cos x plus sin x we factorize it uh, with, so we got 1 over 3 x 1 over 3 e to the power of negative 3x cos x plus sin x so the final answer we got is 2 over 9 e to the power of negative 3 x cos x and c x plus c that's all from me thank you for your time